name is Ben Street Matter. And I'm Josh Street Matter. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to preview our sale offering today. To follow will be pictures and videos as well as sale commentary from Josh and I on the lot. And so thank you for taking the time to view these and we hope you enjoy them. Lot 1 is a February Smokin' Joe heifer. She is out of a, a purebred uh, shorthorn cow that's sired by Sunny. Her mother goes back to uh, Brian Gollett Miller's Mandy cow that's raised many champions so there's a strong cow family behind this one. Blue heifer is vegetable, uh, both shorthorn plus and maintainer. And we're really excited about this female. We think she has a lot of future to her. Uh, this one's built from the ground up. She's got a big foot and leg in her. Uh, really gets out and strides and foot in motion. Uh, gorgeous fronted, really clean through her uh, chest and into her belly. Um, super sally belly. This one's been that way from the day she hit the ground. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of capacity in the middle of this one. and follows it out with a really nice hip. And, uh, like I said, she's really good on the move. She puts her hind legs down authoritatively and uh, puts her hind foot in her front one's track. And uh, This one's just deadly on the side. We think this one fits the Shorthorn Plus build really well, and that one's going to be very competitive in that uh, venue, um, starting in Louisville and hopefully through the rest of her show career. One thing I'd also like to mention is on that heifer is the versatility when it comes to having this one in the pasture. She's both a is half main and half shorthorn, so you can go both realms, whichever way you want to go, either shorthorn and main. And she's also extremely balanced, so you can take her to about any bull you want and still have a solid background for the caves in the future. Lot two would be our high percentage main female. She's an I-80 on a premium blend. The premium blend cow is actually, it goes back to the Sierra line from Bushy Park. This heifer is extremely eye appealing from the side, extremely clean fronted and well balanced throughout her top and, and hip. This female is extremely rare for a high mane in the fact that she's so smooth shouldered and well made out of her front end and she track and she steps out extremely smoothly. This heifer is al also extremely deep bellied and very comp very capacious. We, we would like to think this heifer would be very competitive in the main Anjou thing and we're extremely excited about her both in the show ring and as a cow potential. This one has so much power from the ground up, we think you can do many options, whether you want to take her to a crossbred bull or leave her in the main Anjou thing. We think this one's got an extremely bright future. Lots three and four are full sisters. We call these the power sisters. They're both out of our Echo donor cow. Um, she's been a huge asset to us, a Street Matter show cattle here. Um, she's raised multiple champions. Uh, the most noteworthy is the Steer Brian McIntoshes that we had in 2010 that won Purdue AGR and multiple other jackpot shows in the Midwest and had a very successful show career for Ryan. Um, these, these heifers are both out of Fortune and Glory and they're both born in March. These heifers would be Restful Maintainer or Key. And uh, like I said, these are the Power Sisters. They are extremely powerful there in their construction, very uh, wide through the center of their body and carry a lot of power out through their hips. Um, three is a little bit more. Um, smooth and clean through her front end than four, um, but granted four has a lot more capacity and power through her lower um, body. We're extremely excited about these females. Um, I, we can't mention enough how much of an asset these heifers will be to you guys in the pasture. We think these have the potential to be future donor cows to raise thousands and thousands of dollars worth of kids. We know how beneficial that their cow has been to us. We can only imagine with the added mane in the background um, just how um, how much of an asset these females will be um, to whoever purchases of them in the pasture, for sure. I think they're both extremely versatile in the sense that they're feminine, but yet still carry the power of their mother. Um, like I said, these heifers are incredibly wide-based and powerful, both through their rib and their hip, but yet they have the asset of that front end on the front of them, which makes them very rare. So we're awfully excited about these, both in the show ring and in the pasture. Lot 5 is a maternal sieve to lots 3 and 4, as well as lots 11 and 10. Um, she is out of the same echo donor cow that we've spoken about previously. So, cow power is in the family here. This one's bred a little bit differently in the fact that she's a monopoly, which we're really excited about this monopoly female. She carries a lot of center body width and dimension, just like her sisters, um, but probably more substance than those heifers. We think she's going to be crazy powerful in the pasture. Yeah, I think this redhead could definitely raise some uh, steers to compete on national levels with so much power, so much muscle throughout her stifle and hip. Um, I think she's going to 
um, just really raise some powerful steers in the future. But yet she's still cool enough neck and long enough body to raise a really good female um, for depending on how you mash her up in the breeding realm. We've seen the power of the monopoly steers, but when you throw them in a female, it's uh, it's really cool as well because they're keeping those feminine front ends and adding the power that you guys like to see in the steers. This one's going to be dangerous. For sure. Cow power. Lot 6 would be an I-80 out of a cornerstone, so she would be registrable maintainer and shorthorn plus. This female's maternal sib last year um, was very successful, shown by Evan Fout, a good buddy of ours, who took her out to be champion shorthorn plus at several um, jackpot shows, and she was reserve brand once. A, an extremely successful female. That female was actually an Angus on that shorthorn cow. This one's an I-80 out of that cornerstone cow, so we feel like that the added look and power of I-80 on this female's um, cow has brought her the more added power and width and substance. She's extremely cool from the side. She's got a great head and neck, ties into her shoulder extremely well, and she's also very deep body. Anything to add? Yeah, this April female, what I love about her is just her soundness. This one's extremely long and soft pasture. and sets down on a big foot, and uh, she really gets out and goes really well. And uh, this one's going to be really hairy. Um, all the ones out of that cow have been super shaggy, and this one um, will be no exception. She's already starting to shag up really well for us. Um, so another one of those maintainer shorthorn plus females that we think is extremely versatile. Um, but with that added look of I-80 and the power of that cornerstone cow, we think this one's going to be really special. Yeah, for one, I think we think we agree she um, goes shorthorn plus very well. For all you shorthorn boys who want to paint one black, I think here's your solution. Lot 7 is another I-80 on a cornerstone cow. She's not a full sister to six, but similarly bred. She's an April-born female, and uh, <clears throat> we think right here is the show heifer. Um, she is gorgeous through her front end, smooth at her shoulder, super deep bodied, and really square on the outline. You cannot take a better side profile picture than this one. Um, she is super, super cool on the side, super deep belly. She's really green right now, but we think when this one powers up, she's going to be super special. We're pretty proud of this one. Yeah, and also talk about shag nasty. This one, when we brought this heifer in in early July to start working on, she had shag in the middle of the heat that we've had this summer. She's going to be extremely hairy all year long, and she'll be able to jackpot, jackpot, excuse me, but also be ready for those junior national and national shows all year long. So we're extremely, like you said, show heifer, extremely deep bodied. We're ex really excited um, to see what this one's going to do in the show ring. But also, being half main, half shorthorn, again, the versatility in the pasture. Definitely no exception here. She can do it all. The slot 7 heifer also goes back to a long line of decorated females. She actually goes back to her granddam is a half sib to Sullivan's Heartbreaker cow, which was one of those extremely successful cows for the Sullivan family. So this heifer has winning in her background, so we're really excited about what she has to offer and what she can do. Lot 8 is a Mayborn I-80 female. She's out of our uh, man-child donor cow, but actually goes back to the Figus' families. Uh, champion heifer that was a mossy oak. Um, she won Louisville that year and has been uh, a really consistent producer. So this, this female has a lot of power in her background and uh, she also has a lot of power in person. She starts at the ground extremely wide, big footed, big massive bone female and uh, she's got that typical I-80 front end on her. And uh, So you put those two things together and she, it's an awful powerful combination. This one's definitely um, one of our you know personal favorites. She's a uh, the cow we, we really liked. We showed her ourselves and we're successful with her and it was really fun that year to work on her and I'm a big fan of the cow. Um, and I think this one has the same potential and I think she could be better. Um, I think she could definitely be better. The way she is made from the ground up, like you stated, and just so cool from the side. We think, it, as a May, this one expresses so much power and width. Um, we're really excited what she can do in the future. I call this heifer the crossover heifer of the offering. I think she fits both worlds of the show heifer and the cow extremely well. It's really hard to put together the two things of functional power with pretty, and this heifer does it extremely well. Lot 9 backs up all the hype with real material. This heifer is extremely bold in her construction. She is way wide bodied to the center of her. When you get this one on a three quarter angle, um, she just blows your socks off. This one's extremely big and wide through her hip. Yet her muscle pattern is longer, so she does not become terminal in her hip. She still has a feminine hip, but uh, packs a lot of power from behind. Um, like Josh said, she bears an uncanny resemblance with the Chamberlain heifer of last year, um, which is a, um, 
one that excites us an awful lot. So we're excited to see what this young female has to offer. Um, she comes from a proven cow family, and uh, she's also extremely docile. So uh, this heifer will be ready to roll for uh, any age um, exhibitor, and uh, obviously that's an added attribute of um, most of the cattle in this offering, but this one especially. And like you mentioned, um, she comes from, has a little history. Um, actually, her maternal sib last year um, sold out of here and went to um, Tracy Bowman in Maryland and was very successful out there and won um, a couple jackpots um, in some of those earlier shows and I think is going to turn out to be a phenomenal cow for them. So a little proven history behind this one with, um, with the added coolness of her standing out there in the lot. So. Lots 10 and 11 are the only two steers in our offering this year, but we're sure not disappointed with the quality that we brought you here. These two February-born Monopoly steers are out of the Sadie donor cow that we have, so these would be full, full sibs to the lot five solid red heifer. Um, these two boys pack a lot of punch. Um, there's a lot of product and a lot of power here. Um, they're both big body, good functional type cattle that we think are going to have a lot of success early. The lot 10 steer is a steer that is extremely well balanced, extremely sound and good from the side. He's also probably one of the soggiest steers we've, we've ever had. He's extremely soft made, wide in his underpinning, and tracks out extremely wide from behind. He's also really big bone, and it's gonna be extremely hairy. Now these steers are a little farther along, they're going, to be they're going to be ready to rock and roll here the first part of the show season, and they're gonna be very competitive at those first jackpot shows, so we're extremely excited about what they have to offer. Lot 11 is probably uh, the more extended steer of the pair. He's longer from his nose to his shoulder, and uh, it's also longer from his shoulder to his hip. Um, boy, this one is sure to impress when you stand behind him. He goes away strong and powerful, hits the ground wide at all four corners, and is really massive down his top and out through his hip. Um, this guy's got a big loin eye in him, and uh, I think will uh, will fatten with um, a lot of width and a lot of power. Um, he's also very good on the good from the side. Uh, he's a long-bodied steer that's very level in his pending, and um, hits the ground very well and uh, gets right out in strides. He sets his hind foot right where his front one went. And uh, I think this is going to be a really good um, type of a kit for any exhibitor. We want to thank everyone for taking the time to look at our offering. We're extremely excited about it and we can't overemphasize enough. Please come visit us. Please come see these cattle live. Um, videos are great, but we want to make sure that you guys um, have an ample opportunity to view these cattle in person. So please come visit us anytime. Our private Trinity bid off will be September 30th. Our bids close at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to contact any of us, whether Ben, Josh, or Caleb, or my dad, Mike. Um, all of our contact information will be listed at the end of this video. Please visit our website on showsteers.com. Go to the Indiana Breeders link and then go to Street Matter Show Cattle. You'll find uh, pictures and videos as well as sale information on there. Or like us on Facebook under Street Matter Show Cattle, where uh, we consistently update photos and pictures and information on there. We want to make sure that we're clear that um, it doesn't just stop here when the sale closes. We want to help you guys in any fashion that we can, whether it be fitting or feeding or just helping you guys throughout the show season. We want to make sure um, that we're there to help you. So any questions or comments or anything you need to know, please feel free to contact us throughout the year after the cattle have been sold to make sure that we can help you. We're a family owned and operated business and we started uh, building this cow herd through our show heifers so we want to help you and stand behind these females in any way that we can to make sure that you're successful in the future. So thank you for stopping by at Street Matter Show Cattle and have a safe trip. I'm David Streetmark. Come see us at Street Matter Show Cattle.